everybody it's bob boob the real estate guy all right actually the dorky guy behind the camera here is bob boob the real estate guy this you are looking at is 211 haven pines road out in mill hall lamar township so here i'm here i'm actually looking south so here it'd be east this would be north this would be west like kind of towards the uh fairgrounds of course the clinton county speedway with jason mccacken so this is a nice area out here um so what we're looking at here, this is a pre-manufactured home, a mobile home with an addition, has a metal roof on it, asphalt, parking lot here. Nice, nice property. Let's go ahead and take a look here. There is a ramp on the property, if that's helpful for you. Or you can do matchbox cars on it. That's always fun to play. Covered, covered porch here. There's my reflection. 211211. So when we first walk in, this is where you'll kind of see see the width here of the, the mobile home. This I'm going to call the living room area. Now, we have central air here, but there's also several built-in wall units. So you actually have two, one, two, ding, 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 um, types of cooling in here. So this is a nice size room. And I'm going to spin around here a little bit. This is what I'm going to call the dining area. It has a couple built-in hutches. Of course, the kitchen area. Yep, the area with the cabinets and the stove and fridge. I'm calling the kitchen. And then there's actually a hall that kind of skitters back there. We'll go there in just a second. Skitters is a professional real estate term. <coughs> now, this is the add-on. So this is like a second living room or a den, maybe, would be the better way to, to call this. This is a really nice size room. And then, of course, just to kind of orient you, this is the uh, one of the two of the back doors. So see that super cool, awesome soccer mom minivan we'll be going out there in a second then but but this is a back door and again we'll go out there in just a second but we'll finish up inside here first financing can be a little tricky for these um but i have a couple options for that so if you've uh got questions on financing of course if you're cash there's no problem with that whatsoever then we'll take cash a little pantry area here so this here is you know can put some dry goods and whatnot there and then i guess i, I kind of went quick there i should show you there is a dishwasher built in microwave built in and they're all going to stay if you want them and then we have the hallway now i think the original layout was this was probably yeah see that goofy guy down there this was probably a bedroom and then of course it's over time they converted it to a laundry room so it's actually a really nice size laundry era i suppose if you moved your washer and dryer somewhere you could have this as a third bedroom but just want to kind of show that to you so here i'm facing east now as i spin now i'm facing west of course here you have a nice size room and it also has a built-in air conditioner but again you can see the duct work here because you have oil forced hot air for the heat and then the central air big double closet here and we'll go down in the basement yep believe it or not this uh, home has a basement and then here outside porch area so we'll go back there in a second but here's that bathroom here's that same goofy guy follow me around see an extra cabinet in here big shower that's a two-seater in here so you and a friend can enjoy yourself taking a shower wash each other's back and kind of spin around vanity area of course got the throne and now on the far southern end of the house then you have another bedroom, also with a built-in air conditioner. Because, of course, before they had the central air, <coughs> excuse me, bite the throat here, they had put in the wall units in. But a big, big closet. This is all closet area. Again, that goofy guy there. Let's see what else we got to do here. Now, if you're not familiar with Rote, because there's not a lot written about Rote, or if you're familiar with what was Rote on Rote somewhere. Now, I rode in on the Rote Road to get here to Rote, but... I didn't really find anything written about road, but don't get road rage when you're riding on the road, road to road. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm getting carried away, aren't I? All right, I'm a boob, I have an excuse. So you can see here, I think practically speaking, you know, you pull in the back, you park, you carry your groceries either in this door or that other door closer to the kitchen. But this is a nice space. So here's your panel box and there's also a generator. That has not been used in a long time. They haven't really had to use it, but they're gonna leave it in the sale. So it's set up there just in case you would lose power now to me too this area would be very easy to enclose if you did want to pick up another third bedroom too looks like there's a little shimmy hole 
I don't know my butt get through there, but it is there. Now that's probably an old septic cover, but actually now we have public water and public sewer out here. And there's the central air, what do they call that, condenser unit. And remember that other door we just opened? So that's right there. So again, you have two, two back entrances. And uh, here you got a nice two-car garage. Big solar power dryer right here. Big bush right there. Actually, that bush would kind of be fun to clear out and make a kid play area. Apple tree here. And there is a, this Amish shed is on the property. And of course, over here, there's a neighbor's house. I think the boundary line is probably very close. See where the, this neighbor over here has a fence. And then here's a pine tree. We think that that pine tree is very, very, very close to the, to the boundary line. Obviously, if you want to know for sure, have a surveyor mark it. Now, so that would be the west boundary. Now, as we walk in between the two-car garage and the super cool, some Amish shut, you'll see some telephone poles. And we think these are probably pretty close to the boundary line. So you can look straight down. Of course, that's the neighbor's trailer and uh, a utility trailer. So that's probably about where the southern boundary line <coughs> is there. But it's a very well-kept mobile home. That's right, mobile home. Um, I think it was probably built originally like in the 60s, maybe late 60s, early 70s. But of course, the additions and stuff are newer than that. I don't know if you can see real well, but... Nice metal roof on it. All right, guys, you know what? Let's go down. Well, you know, actually, I'm gonna keep recording here because I'm gonna show you the entrance to the basement. There's not currently steps in the house to the basement, though I think there's a couple options there where somebody could. But what they have is a nice, so here we're on the north end of the house. So here's an entrance into the basement, but it has a regular normal man door. So it's easy to get things in and out. And you have lots of storage. Look at this. So it's, gosh, you could do an archery range right down here or shoot BB guns or bowling. Maybe you could set up your own bowling alley up here. It's, it's a big space. Of course, there's your oil tank. And then electric hot water heater. There's the water meter. Now you can see here, this is the sewer line heading out front because that's where the public sewer comes in. You'll see an old sewer line here. That we see that there would have gone out to that septic, but that's all been capped off. That's not currently being used. Of course, block foundation. Here's then your forced hot air. Uh, this is where the cooling is going into it for the central air. Of course, down here you have the heating part and the burner unit there for that. And then here you have um, this is probably the main box here. I guess earlier I showed you that box by the generator. That's probably a sub feed. That's probably what's going out on that line right there. There's a line coming in. I can't see what amp that is. Geez, jumping. There was a day my eyes could see that then, but I'm not sure. I guess I'll say 100 amp because I'm not sure. Okay, so are we having fun? I hope you guys are having fun. There's not a lot of spiders down here either. I'll give the owner credit. They... Clean it up really, really good down here. <coughs> well, let me think, guys. I think that's probably showed you the front. I showed you the back. I showed you inside the house. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions on this house or any house, please give me or any of my super cool, awesome 